We have a solar storm incoming, explosion from a CME, coronal mass ejection from the sun, forecast to hit our Earth today, coming this weekend. Is forecast to possibly disrupt power grids and satellite operations today, Friday, triggered by a glancing blow of charged particles streaming from our sun. And this is, of course, space weather news. The solar flare detected on Tuesday, July 20th, cast a rogue cloud of charged particles towards us, our Earth, although not aimed directly at us. The explosion's debris, that is the eruption, is forecast to trigger a minor solar storm in the magnetosphere surrounding our Earth today, Friday, July 23rd. Experts at the U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, warned the storm could lead to weak power grid disruptions as well. The experts wrote in their update three-day forecasts, G1 minor geomagnetic storm conditions likely late July 23rd due to CME effects. Earlier this week, the SWPC warned in its forecast of a glancing blow CME having an impact on space weather. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The CMEs or coronal mass ejections are large explosions of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's surface that are sometimes accompanied by solar flares and the CMEs and flares can in turn trigger solar storms by casting high-speed streams of charged material towards our atmosphere, the region of space around our Earth that's dominated by the planet's magnetic field. And according to U.S. Space Agency NASA, this can peel the magnetic field open like an onion, quote-unquote, allowing the charged particles to hit the poles and atmosphere. And when that happens, the Earth's magnetic field is weakened for about 6 to 12 hours, and it will take a few days to fully recover. I didn't even know that. Now, solar storms can cause a wide range of effects from minor disruptions to satellite operations to full-blown blackouts. And according to the testimony website, the, the astronomy website, Space Weather, the crack uh, has, oh, it's, they call it, the scientists, this is scientific uh, jargon, uh, is likely opened in the magnetic field in the early hours of July 22nd between 4.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. And the uh, website said solar wind poured in, fueling a period of geomagnetic unrest Kp equals 4. And so far, no reports of auroras have been received, probably due to the glare of northern summer light, sunlight. Uh, quiet, condi quiet conditions have since resumed. And the website Space Weather also informed of an eruption spot, erupting sunspot AR2846, that was detected July 20th. And the sunspot hurled the CME out into space that was not expected to hit us head on, but could have still had an impact on our space weather. They said normally the location of the blast site would rule out an impact on Earth, but the explosion debris squirted out sideways. Modeled by U.S. National uh, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the, uh, they suggest that the edge of the CME will strike the Earth magnetic field late today. And luckily for us, the forecasters are only experiencing a minor, minor G1-class storm, if at all. Space Weather said this forecast is uncertain. However, the CME is just as likely to miss us entirely. If it does arrive, High altitude sky watchers could be alert for, alert for beautiful auroras this weekend. Solar storms are ranked by scales of G1, which is minor, and G5 extreme. A G1 storm can cause weak power grid fluctuations and have minor impact on satellite operations. And weak solar storms are also known to have an impact on migratory animals that can trigger uh, and also can trigger beautiful auroras in the summer 
uh, in the uh, southern and uh, northern uh, hemispheres. The stronger a storm is, the more likely will have an impact on your day-to-day -day business. The G5 extreme storms have the potential to cause power blackouts and power grids may experience complete collapse. A powerful storm triggered by a CME March 13, 1989 famously caused the Hydro-Quebec power network in Canada to collapse and they had a blackout. The storm caused transformers to fail and left more than 6 million people without power for 9 hours. Solar storms also have the, also have the potential to have a devastating impact on air traffic by disrupting communications between aircraft and traffic control on the ground. NASA said during certain space weather events, Solar energetic particles spiral down geomagnetic field lines in the polar regions where they increase the density of ionized gas, which in turn affects and propagation the propagation of the radio waves and can result in radio blackouts. And these events can last for days, during which time aircraft must be diverted to altitudes where satellite communications can be used and are safe to be used. And because these events are unpredictable, and there is nothing we can do about them. Some experts have warned we're sitting ducks, quote-unquote, for a major storm to cripple our technology-reliant world. This is on uh, Express UK by Sebastian Kedley. So all of you in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, if you're uh, above, for example, the Canadian border, U.S.-Canadian border, you'll probably be able to be seeing these beautiful Northern Lights. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.